Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Catherine. Happy Friday. I just finished having lunch with one of my favorite businessmen and framing contractors, Alex DeSouza. If you're building new construction in Philadelphia and you need some framing work done, definitely hit him up. I tagged him in my stories recently. Aside from that, I'm driving through Bella Vista. I'm going to go ahead and loop back around because I'm headed to a new construction listing of mine over on 8th Street that I'm pretty psyched about. You might have seen me post some little sneak peek pictures of it earlier in my feed. It has that bathroom that totally fucks with the nice soaking tub and the very sexy shower. Um, but I wanted to show you guys Bella Vista. This is one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods in all of Philadelphia. Some of you know me well enough or long enough to know that I used to own a yoga studio in Bella Vista over on 11th Street. 11th Street is kind of the cutoff for Bella Vista because it, it abuts Hawthorne, which is another neighborhood. But between 11th and 6th Street, you really have this pocket. Um, Bella Vista means beautiful view, but there is some of the, the biggest open air markets in the entire United States located here on 9th Street. Some of you know it as the Italian market. Um, and there's a huge immigrant population here that runs some of these stalls. I'm gonna drive up 9th Street right now. Um, I used to live in Queen Village when I first moved into the city and I shopped at the Asian market over on 5th and Washington and the Italian market, which is where I'm at right now. You can get some of the best deals on produce and some of the best deals on meat products if you come early. Every time my brother is down from New Hampshire, I always take him to the Italian market. We go to Claudio's, we pick up some cheese, and we always get sold by um, the folks who work there on some of the amazing products that they offer that you can't really find anywhere else in the city, um, let alone maybe anywhere else in the United States. So one of the oldest open air markets, excellent shopping right here. And there's also some fantastic restaurants in Bella Vista. In fact, it's probably the best location in the city to go to these little BYOs. Sabrina's, my favorite brunch spot in the city for a very long time. Also a BYO at night. My roommates and I used to go there all the time. Um, of course, Angelo's is located here. So if you want to have the best pizza in all of Philadelphia, uh, don't get me wrong. I love a lot of places for Philly pizza, um, but Angelo's got rated especially by Dave Portney, who if you're watching this, call me. We should definitely talk. I want to do some philanthropic uh, activities. Aside from that, Bella Vista is beautiful. Um, you've got a really nice stock of these traditional row homes throughout the city, and then these little corner places that are truly staples in Philadelphia. Ralph's Italian Restaurant is just here on my left. Victor Cafe, which has opera singers, is just another block away. Sarcone's Bakery, which I think maybe made the cheesesteak what it really is today. You get these, um, these amazing bread. It's like that and Amoroso, right? It's classic Philly. Um, so we're actually passing Angelo's right now, which is located just next to one of my favorite parks in the entire city. So there's the rec center um, on 9th Street, just at Fitzwater. Sam's Morning Glory Diner is on the south side. And when the, when the guys are out here playing soccer and kickball and people are out here with their kids, you have this amazing skyline view of the city. There's Chapter House Coffee right around the corner, which is probably one of my favorite coffee shops in the city. They do this, uh, I think it's like mocha melange is what they call it. It's basically a chocolate or a mocha latte, but inside of that, they add all the spices that go into a chai tea, so you get cardamom and cinnamon and the like. It's phenomenal, and they've got a really cute courtyard that you can sit in. 